Welcome to another update by Force 13 on Hurricane Katia, a relatively small hurricane expected to make landfall later today. Winds right now are 105 miles per hour, guts go up to 120 miles per hour with a pressure of 975 millibars. The storm is currently moving west at 5 miles per hour and located at 21.1 degrees north and 96.2 degrees west roughly 59 miles north-northeast of Veracruz at the moment. This is the current track for Hurricane Katia. It is expected to make landfall later today into early tomorrow morning in the province of Veracruz. Because of this, there are hurricane warnings in effect for Cabo Rojo to Laguna Verde, and there's a tropical storm warning in effect for north of Cabo Rojo to Rio Panuco and south of Laguna Verde to Puerto Veracruz. This means that hurricane conditions are expected to occur somewhere in the warning area. Right now it's going to be within the next 12 to 24 hours and preparations should be rushed to completion because this is a life-threatening storm and should be taken very seriously. This is the current map of wind shear. As you can see, it is in a relatively low area of wind shear and even decreasing in some areas. Earlier it was in slightly higher wind shear and that was slightly inhibited to development of the storm. However, now it is in an even more favorable environment for development and may strengthen some more before it makes landfall later today into tonight. So these are sea surface temperatures right now. Katia is in very warm waters around 30 to 31 degrees Celsius in the Bay of Campeche. This area usually has warm waters and it is more favorable for development of the cyclone. Katia also has some ocean heat content to work with as you can see indicated on the map. It doesn't have as much to work with as it would in the Caribbean per se, but there is some for it to draw energy from and could lead to potential strengthening before the storm makes landfall later today into tonight. Elsewhere in the tropics, we also have Hurricane Irma, a category 4 hurricane with 155 mile an hour winds that is currently impacting Cuba with hurricane force winds as well as the Turks and Caicos and Bahamas and is expected to impact Florida over the weekend. And we also have Hurricane Jose, which is rapidly strengthened into a Category 4 hurricane with winds of 150 miles an hour and is unfortunately going to impact the same areas that were just devastated by Irma just a few days ago. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.co.uk at your service at any time. You can also find us on YouTube, the channel, search Force 13, all in text, and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also find us on Facebook at Force 13, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter, that's the handle to contact us there. You can also add Fool13 on Skype, that's F-O-O-L-1-3, and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.